So Microsoft made a very massive announcement today that is rewriting TypeScript in Golang to make it 10 times faster. And just to correct myself, if you go through this blog and video, they explicitly say it's not a complete rewrite, it's a port. But keeping the technicalities aside, this is one of the biggest news in the TypeScript and in web development world, I would say, which makes TypeScript over 10 times faster than its current performance. And this is a huge thing because if you look at their blog post and if you go through this code base initial test which they have done with some of these big repositories you can see running TSC on VS code drops from 77 seconds to 7.5 seconds which is close to 10x speed up similarly for type ORM it drops from 17.5 seconds to 1.3 seconds and how they are doing this is with a new repository known as TypeScript Go and it's an official project by Microsoft itself so it's not a third-party service or a third-party platform who's taking up this responsibility there is a lot of work that needs to be done over here and Microsoft is doing it in public right so you can see over here in this description they list down some of the things that works some of the things that are still not ready for example JSX declaration emits and so on and so forth but the initial results say that they are 10x faster which is a huge deal and let me tell you why that is because a majority of code now especially in the web development with front end is written with TypeScript and TSC for example is probably one of the only things I can think which really have no alternative TypeScript compiler is the only way for you to check whether your TypeScript project is type safe or not or if you are following all the practices in defined in TS config or not yes there are platforms like bun and Dino that can run your TypeScript files and even Node can run it but that is a type stripper it's not a type checker TSC TypeScript compiler is the only piece of software in the web development world that can fully type check your code and this piece of software is has been the slowest for a very long time well for any big project if you have opened in TypeScript those wiggly lines that you see in VS code editor they come from the TypeScript compiler itself because TSC is the only thing that can tell except for ESLint and other linters for example but TSC is also one of the things that can hint your IDE about the correctness or incorrectness of the code that you have written. And especially this is a massive thing for bigger projects. Not only this, this will actually result in a lot of cost savings as well. Let me show you how. So without getting into a lot of details, I would just show you some part of our internal code base on CodeDAM, which is running the lint step, lint and type checker both. So we have a massive mono repo over here, which spends about 15 minutes total but it's split into 19 jobs right so effectively it's spending like 15 minutes into 19 which is close to 285 minutes right so this is the time that is spent in CI now imagine this will not drop by 10x if TypeScript gets 10x faster because there is just a part of the pipeline which where TSC is invoked but still for the sake of argument let's assume that this gets 10x faster then this 285 minutes of total time will drop to 28.5 minutes that will instantly correspond to savings of the CI service that we are using. So well, TypeScript doesn't explicitly say exact date when they would want to make it official that, you know, TypeScript Go is there, but you can see that the repository is open source, so you can start using it even today. So the blog post says when the native code base has reached sufficient parity with the current TypeScript, we will be releasing it at TypeScript 7. So native TypeScript, which is the new way of saying TypeScript in Golang, would be released as version 7. Currently, we are at version 5. So they say that this is still in development and we will be announcing stability and feature milestones as they occur. For the sake of clarity, we will refer them to simply as TypeScript 6 and TypeScript 7, since this will be the nomenclature for the foreseeable future, right? So 6 is still going to be JavaScript and 7 is going to be truly native. Strata is the original TypeScript codename and Corsa is the codename for this effort, which is the native one. So I'm assuming that TypeScript 7 will be released as a fully, you know, compatible TypeScript version written in Go, but for the most part, I do believe that a lot of us would be able to start using the native TypeScript very soon, right? Even in our own projects. I mean, sure, the APS surface is still lacking a lot, but you would be able to start getting the benefits of speed, especially if your projects are not very complex or very big in a few months time. So they do explicitly say that TypeScript 7 might also not be the full thing, right? So just to correct myself again. So they say,
say that while my some projects may be able to switch to TypeScript 7 upon release, others may depend on certain API features, legacy configurations, or other constraints that necessitate using TypeScript 6. So 7, they are saying that we will release it, but it might not be 100% compatible, backwards compatible with TypeScript 6. And of course, they do say that we'll maintain TypeScript 6 until 7 reaches sufficient maturity and adoption. And again, like 6 and 7 here means a split. 6 is the TypeScript compiler still written in JavaScript and 7 is the one which is written in Go. But all in all, the summary of the story is that there is a 10x performance increase coming in TypeScript, which is very welcoming and very much awaited, I would rather say, because TypeScript is one of the core bottlenecks in web development. The speed, especially in big projects, and I have felt it personally, hundreds of thousands of developers have felt it personally, and it's a welcoming change because I don't think it's possible that any other company except for the Microsoft, the creators of TypeScript could have done this because they are the most invested, they have the best talent. Anders, for example, is the actual TypeScript creator himself who's leading the project. So, I mean, you have all the expertise under your own company and this is something which only Microsoft could have pulled off. That's all for this one. I will see you in the next video very soon.